Hey guys, it's Kathy. It's Sunday and it's the start of a new week. And I am so excited <laughs> to start this week. And to start this week, you guys, with my hand doing good. No breaks, no fracture, a little bit of a sprain in there. So I'm still working on getting this better. I'm still working on rehabbing, making, you know, slowly but surely, trying to make sure that this hand, uh, that I carefully kind of wake it up. You know what I mean? And um, that's the scoop. So we're going to do left and right hand today because I want to wake up my left hand a little bit and I think it's ready for a little bit more, but um, it's not ready for like a super lot more. So it was only Thursday that I had my MRI or I think I had my, yeah, I had the MRI on Thursday and then I had a doctor's appointment on Friday morning and I'm good to go. My wrist is fine. I do have like a something going on in there. I have like a little um, ganglion on one of my bones, but the doctor said that that could have just been there or it could have been caused by the trauma and it could just be getting better, but it's nothing to worry about. And it's nothing that should, that should irritate or, you know, create an issue for me. And it can just sort of stick around or leave, you know, it's like, that's not an issue. That's not an issue unless it bothers me. So it's not bothering me now. I don't think so. That's awesome. So today, um, I'm doing something a little different today, but I do want to show you what I did yesterday. So yesterday I colored here ta -da, from this book. I've been working on this picture a couple. I did a few of them this week. Um, did this picture, let's see, just going over what I did before and this one was all right hand. And then this one, same picture, different drawing. This one was partially my left hand. I started doing my left hand here. This is just the black ink. And then I finished the ink and colored the entire thing with my right. So, you know, yesterday I was feeling kind of moody and not in such a hot place in terms of just my mood. Wasn't really feeling great. And... When I left this yesterday, you know, I didn't love it. And then I just kept working on it. And, um, and I actually, my point is when I came back to this today, I was like, you know, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it's pretty good. So, um, so yeah, so I think I'm just fresh mind today, fresh start, and I'm feeling really good and I'm super excited. So we're going to, we're going to start working in a different book. We're going to go in, put this guy away for now, the Better Homes and Gardens Herb Gardening book, put that away. And I have a few books that I just wanted to show you. So I mentioned these like last week, these Tash and Icon books, which I have a huge collection of these. I purchased them third party off Amazon from independent booksellers like years ago, and I got them really cheap. And I really like these for their compact nature, for the fact that you have a lot of imagery and a lot of cool inspiration in one little package that you can just pull off your shelf anytime you wanna, you know, look up some inspiration for that particular theme. So um, these are just a few of the ones that I really like. Eccentric Style has a lot of outsider art in it. It has Watts Towers and all kinds of cool stuff. So I just really love outsider art. So I love to, um, I love to have this book to just look at the different, different outsider art photos. And then even though I don't like to actually draw from other people's artwork. I really like this book because, and I don't, I don't usually use this to like, I don't use it to draw from, but it's good to be able to see when you have some photos of a certain kind of butterfly and 
you know, you don't see like a certain perspective of that butterfly. It's good to look at a book like this with um, kind of more technical illustration drawings. So you can, or like more botanical type, you know, or scientific that you can actually see. Okay, so that's what the part of it that I can't tell <laughs> from the photo is supposed to look like. So that's where these books come in really handy, but they're also just beautiful to look at and um, really cool. So this book has a lot of different types of flying insects in it. Um, I'm assuming they're, you know, from the butterfly family, but I mean, look, right? These are not butterflies. So um, these books are really cool. I put links to these books in my live stream resources um, store. It's a link in my profile, but I would suggest they're there for your reference. And if you can find them cheap, they're great. Use the link. But I would suggest you look for the best price because these books, you know how sometimes if things are out of print on Amazon, they're like $89. <laughs> like, don't, don't do that. Um, oops. Sorry, we had like a little naked person in that picture, but um, yeah, but these books are really cool for inspiration and there's all different, um, there's all different themes of them. And I do believe they're out of print, but you can find them. You can find them for cheap sometimes. So if you have a local bookseller, um, you know, physically close to you or hey, everybody, thanks for joining. Hey, Open Heart, Color Bloomer, and Corali Ishaden. I hope I pronounced your name right. I probably didn't. Um, and I apologize. <laughs> so um, these are cool books. Definitely keep an eye out. They're nice, they're compact, and there's a lot of visual stimulation in these for the price you can pay if you can get them for a good price. And they are available for a good price, different times you can find them depending on where you go. So today I'm gonna do left and right hand drawing. Um, I have a selection of pens here. I don't really know what I'm gonna grab, but I thought I would pick something from one of these books. And I think, I think I'll use just a butterfly. Um, maybe something from this page would be good. Or you know what? I like the bigger, yeah. Let's get some bigger butterflies. So I'm gonna use my bulldog clip here just to keep my page open. And then we can just start. So I think I'm gonna do, how about we do the same butterfly with the left hand and with the right hand? Let's see if I can get this on here. There we go. All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna just put this guy over here. I'm gonna do that. Can I do that? Will it stay? Yes, okay. So yesterday, Matt and me went to go see One Night in Soho. Um, Anya Taylor-Joy, the woman who's in Queen's Gambit, stars in it. And the, there's another lead who I'm not familiar with her, but um, she was great. So it's it turns out, because when I went to go see it, I, I hadn't really read too much about it. I didn't read any spoilers or anything. And um, I, I had seen the beginnings of some reviews, but I hadn't really paid that much attention because I didn't want to be spoiled because I knew that eventually I was going to be seeing it. So actually I'm going to do uh, this configuration because we're going to do, I'll do the left up here and I'll do the right down here. I'm going to draw a line right there. Um, so it turned out that it's a sort of like a supernatural horror, um, kind of a mystery type movie. And it encompasses a lot of uh, 50s and 60s music and is encompassing a right word there. I don't know, <laughs> but, but um, they used a lot of that music. The lead character is very much obsessed with the 60s and the fashion and the music and just the entire culture in London. And she goes to fashion design school in London. And from there, I don't want to spoil it, but um, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. And um, it was kind of like, I, I think I would, 
I think I would say it was really genre splitting. Like it was supernatural mixed with fantasy elements mixed with definitely horror and also um, a little bit of like crime drama thrown in. So kind of a mix of all of that. So it just makes sense that <laughs> when I would watch the beginning of a review, um, which I have done, and then I just, I don't, I only watch like the non-spoiler reviews that I've, I've only seen those because I didn't want to spoil, get spoiled on what was going to happen because I knew eventually I would be seeing it. But, um, but yeah, I mean, suitably vague. <laughs> okay. The reviews were suitably vague for what I expected. So I'm looking at this butterfly here. This is the one I'm drawing. I'm just trying to gauge how far out to give myself a guide for the bottom portion of the wing, like that, and then like that. So I've been um, slowly but surely using my left hand more. Sometimes I have the brace on it. I wear the brace to bed and when I go to sleep and then, um, you know, I've been not wearing it all the time because I really don't have to. And I need to kind of get my hand, get some exercise going in there so, um, so it can get better. So that's what I've been doing. And I am feeling like today, I feel like we're getting there, you know, it's going to be, it's like a slowly but surely, but I'm feeling really confident and really happy and I'm so grateful that I don't have anything broken in there. Thank God. Oh my gosh. That was a little scary. But I don't have to worry about that right now. So I'm super excited about that. So the theater that we go to, I talked about it in yesterday's live stream. Um, it's called the Brattle Theater. And it's, I mentioned that it's a revival theater, but it's also a repertory theater. That's the word that I, I couldn't think of the word repertory. I was like, <laughs> trying to think of the word. What's the word I'm trying to think of like for, for this, for the Brattle Theater, it's a repertory theater. So they have like uh, different series. Oh, oh, I did something that I shouldn't have done. Okay, I'm gonna do. I gotta look at this a little bit closer. Okay. A little closer. Okay, okay, okay. So this goes, we go from here, the way that the veins on the leaf, I'm gonna call them veins, I don't know what they are. The little separating lines on the, on the wings. So the Brattle plays new movies, old movies, any kind of movies. They just do their own independent programming and they do different um, themed days and stuff like that. So they're always switching it up. So every couple months they do a new schedule and the mix is, there's a mix of new, there's a mix of new movies, which sometimes they'll play like a new movie for like two or three days. Sometimes they'll do it for like a week and then, um, but not like just that movie. Like sometimes they'll do, you know, part of the day for that movie, they'll do like one or two showings and then they'll do a series say just for just throwing out an example, like Quentin Tarantino. So say they're doing a Quentin Tarantino, um, a Quentin Tarantino series, then, you know, that would be like Tuesday night. And then they'll play like two movies back to back, Quentin Tarantino. So one of the things that's great about them is, whoops, I forgot that little thing there. Let me do it here. Um, one of the things that's great about the Brattle is they do double features. <laughs> so they haven't really been doing those during the pandemic. And we love a good double feature. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back to double feature movies at some point but it's feeling really good right now because 
I just, I just feel like the air is changing a little bit in terms of how things are going pandemic wise. Um, no, I haven't read the news today or anything like that, but um, I feel like things are looking up. Although I did go to a coffee shop today, this morning, um, my local coffee shop, and they, I hadn't been in there in quite a while and they took out all of the seating. So they're not allowing um, in, in restaurant dining right now which is fine, I always take out anyway, but, um, but you know, I did, I was in a different um, cafe yesterday and, you know, it wasn't a mandate or anything. I mean, they, they had seating and stuff. So that just seemed like something random that I noticed today because I was like, why did they take out the seating? I mean, I understand why, but um, I guess I was surprised because I didn't realize, I don't know, maybe they've had some more, you know, for whatever reason. I, I think that everybody's, you know, <laughs> everybody has the right to do what they want, you know? If they want to do that, that's totally, totally understandable and makes sense. I always get takeout from there anyway, and I haven't, I, I've not dined in very much at all during the pandemic, obviously. But yeah, I definitely feel like things are, things seem to be like the wind is changing a little. Is it just me? Um, so every now and then I'll pop my head up and see if anybody's here saying anything. So let's go on to my right, my left hand now. So it's 119. Uh oh, <laughs> we're going to do, let me just write. I'm going to, I'll write right with my right hand here. Okay. Because... That's what I'm doing. Right in the right hand with my right hand. Right. Oh boy. Okay. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to draw a butterfly with my left hand. Um, this is not going to be like a detailed thing because I don't, I don't really have it in me right now to do that right now, but I did write a list of talking points for the first time with my um, left hand today. Let me grab them so you can see them because I'm not going to hit a lot of stuff on this list, but I wrote this with my left hand and I'm pretty proud of it. So, um, and it's good too, because I was sort of gauging like, oh gosh, look at that. I almost used my right hand. Um, I was writing it and gauging, how does my hand feel? You know, am I sore? And what's funny is, for two weeks in a splint, um, I didn't really have pain because I was really mobilized in my hand and wrist. And um, I didn't really notice. It was hard to notice what was, you know, where the discomfort was because I was immobilized. So now, um, and after getting the results from my MRI and knowing that there's like internal spraining of some ligaments. Um, now it feels like a sprain. Whereas when I first had the fall and then all that, um, I told you guys it did not feel like a sprain and it really did not feel like a sprain. <laughs> but now it feels sprainy. And I just have to go real careful and not... Um, not overdo it. So this is sort of the bottom point right there. And then out is like here. Like that I'm just making those little dots as guides for myself like looking at the circumference of the wing compared to where it hits. Like diagonally, like here maybe. That works. Yeah, so my wrist is a little sore, but that's okay. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. And I'm gonna give it plenty of rest today. So on the agenda for today, because I'm 
set, trying to set up my system so I can do some live streaming on YouTube. And live streaming on YouTube and live streaming here are different animals because on YouTube, I can have more than one camera and I can do some other fun things, um, to, you know, to make it a little more, a little more exciting. And I can use a mic, a better mic than just my phone mic. And so I need to get a few little connector pieces. And when you're <laughs> searching for certain little connectors, like um, adapters and whatever, um, on Amazon, and you're not somebody who, you know, works at a hardware store, <laughs> or like is familiar with all the different screw parts, um, sometimes you get the wrong thing, you know? So I wanna get the right thing. And there is a photo store right up the street from me, like about a 10, 15 minute walk. So, and it's next to one of my favorite little lunch spots so I can get a sandwich to take home too. So I think I'm gonna do that. And I have to walk by the bubble tea store. So I'm super excited to get a boba tea. So I'm gonna do that. That's what's on the agenda for today. And also, so a little Netflix talk. Um, over the past week, Matt and me have been watching a show called Archive 81, which is a series first season. And it's like a supernatural horror um, series, just to put a little face on it for you, but it's, it's about a film archiver who gets hired to do, um, archiving of a bunch of film, like VHS from the eighties. And it's a bit complicated for me to go into, but it stars, um, an actor who was in Comedy Central. If you ever see that show Cake, and if you haven't, I totally get it. It's pretty obscure. But um, there was a there's a segment in Cake, the um, the show called Oh Jerome No, and he's the star of that little skit. That little skit that they um, it's like every time the cake show comes on there's like the oh jerome no skit is in it so it's like a new one every time and i think that that show actually got if i'm not mistaken i don't know actually i haven't watched it in a long time but it i think it got canceled i'm not really sure but um but you could probably find the oh jerome no skits on youtube and um the star of those skit <laughs> jerome is the he's the star of the show and i just think he's great so I really, really, really like him. And he is the star of the show. And so I was, you know, I was into trying to watch it because I was like, well, I like him as an actor. So, and I liked it, but it's a bit, um, I, we, we ended, we finished watching it and it's, one of those shows that's unfortunately and i i really did enjoy it but unfortunately it's it's really going off the deep end you know so it's like you know sometimes you like to have certain questions answered and a lot of questions have been answered in it but but we have a lot of new questions and sometimes that can get a little bit exhausting so I will we watch the entire first season and we'll probably watch the next season um honestly I, I really like the leads so I'm happy to revisit it but I'm not as invested because I just felt like I don't feel like it moved forward quite as much as I wanted it to and I mean I learned a lot they did answer a lot of questions, but it's gone in this different direction that's a little bit, it might be just a bridge too far for me. I'm not sure, so so we'll see. Um, we will see what happens when, it, when the next season comes out, but it's not gonna be for a while because I think it actually just came out like a few weeks ago or whatever, so. All right, so we got 
left butterfly and right butterfly. Obviously, I got some work to do, but I'm pretty happy. This is my first official picture that I've done with my left hand. And this is my right hand. And here's our butterfly. So there we are. And here we are. So, ta-da. Lefty, righty. I'm a lefty. And uh, there we go. So I'm going to hang it up today and I will be back tomorrow with another live stream. I am going to think about how I want to, <laughs> what I want to do tomorrow. Do I want to continue with this or should we continue with something else? So I'll see you guys soon and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.